Some animals are just over the top, you know? Take scorpions, for example. Is it not enough that these stinging arachnids can survive some of the harshest climates in the world, live 25 times longer than your average cockroach, or live up to 48 hours without oxygen? Hmm. Hello? No, it's not enough, because scorpions also glow electric scarab green under ultraviolet light. But how is this possible? We're going to find out together in our Wildpedia. Finding scorpions at night in the desert is surprisingly easy. All you need is an ultraviolet torch because scorpions are extremely fluorescent. Now what does that mean exactly? Fluorescence is the emission of light by a substance that has absorbed light or other electromagnetic radiation. It is a form of luminescence, meaning their bodies absorb ultraviolet light and re-radiate it in the most visible part of the spectrum, making them glow this bright neon green color. But scorpions aren't the only animals that fluoresce. Jellyfish, platypuses, wombats, all of them take on a distinct disco-like glow under the ultraviolet light. Scorpions are members of the class Arachnida and are closely related to spiders, mites, and ticks. They are commonly thought of as desert dwellers, but they are also found in places like the Brazilian forest, British Columbia, North Carolina, and even the Himalayas. These hardy, adaptable arthropods have been around for hundreds of millions of years, and they are nothing if not survivors. Scorpions are an intimidating group of animals. With pincers on the front and a stinger on the back, believe me when I say that scorpions are all business at both ends. The venom serves to kill or paralyze prey rapidly. These guys have a total of eight eyes, two median eyes on top of the head and three more pairs of eyes symmetrically on both sides, right there. Even though they seem terrifying, and yeah, they do creep me out pretty much, we still cannot deny the fact that they are such magnificent creatures. Back to today's question. Why exactly do scorpions glow under UV light? So, all invertebrates have a special protective layer over their bodies called an exoskeleton. The cool thing about a scorpion's exoskeleton is that the outermost layer, the hardest, toughest layer, has a protein or hyaline layer that takes in ultraviolet light such as black light or moonlight and reflects a bluish green light back, causing the scorpion's body to glow. This layer is also called the cuticle. Unlike the cuticles on your fingers, which are made of harder dead skin, the cuticle on a scorpion is a part of its exoskeleton. So, when it lights up, you can easily find these scorpions in the wild if you're trying to avoid them, or capture one for some reason. The hyaline layer is really strong and truly stands up to the test of time. In fact, scientists have found that even fossilized scorpions glow under UV light. Additionally, when scientists preserve scorpion specimens in liquid-filled jars, that hyaline layer makes the liquid glow. Crazy, right? And while observing scorpions, scientists have noticed that the creatures don't glow immediately after molting off layers of their skin. Rather, the cuticles have to harden completely before they shine blue-green in the starlight. But scientists still don't know if the glowing material comes from a chemical reaction in the hardening process or if the scorpions actually secrete the glowing substance. Wonderful creatures, don't you think? They kind of remind me of the glow stick that you usually have when going to a concert. Imagine waving an actual eco-friendly scorpion glow stick clinging to your finger while you're dancing. Cool idea, but maybe I'll pass on that one. And if you don't know, all species of scorpions have this interesting trait and no one really knows why. Of course, we know they glow because of that protein, but we don't know the evolutionary purpose of it. There are a number of different theories, but the one that's widely agreed upon by scientists is that scorpions use their exoskeletons as sort of giant eyes, so that they know when it's night and time to eat. Scorpions also have an extraocular light sense in their tails. This means they can detect light even without using their eyes. 
In a 1968 experiment, researchers put scorpions in half-covered petri dishes. Then they exposed them to bright light and all the scorpions quickly hid under the covered part of the petri dish. Then the researchers painted over the eyes of the scorpions and repeated the experiment. But when they turned on the light, 93% of the time, the blinded scorpions still scuttled over to the covered side. The finding was remarkable. This strongly suggests that scorpions don't need their eyes to detect light. Rather, they can sense light with their bodies. That is really amazing, isn't it? They just keep on surprising us over and over again. There are also some other hypotheses as to why scorpions are fluorescent under UV light. Some said that the fluorescence works as a kind of sunblock and protects the scorpions. Oh yeah. Others think that their bright blue-green glow confuses their prey to make them easier to catch, or scorpions use it to determine primarily whether or not another scorpion out there is of the same species for mating purposes. Researchers have even identified a new fluorescent compound from scorpion exoskeletons and they think that this compound may protect these arachnids from parasites. As cool as it is, we still don't know why they glow under a black light. What do you think the reason is? I've said this so many times, but isn't nature wonderful? It just keeps giving these creatures such incredible abilities that sometimes I wish I had. What do you know about scorpions? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything from Wildpedia.